Right then, okay. So, in this video, I'm going to go through five questions altogether on this topic. Right, so these are the first two. What I want you to do is pause the video, have a go at these two questions, okay? So, pause the video, have a go at these two questions, then I'm going to go through it, okay? Right. You done that? Fantastic. So, as long as you had a go, even if you couldn't do it, at least just wrote something down, just had a go. It's really important. So, I'll read it out. Sam and Paul share money in the ratio two to three. Two to three, really important. Sam and Paul, two to three. Paul has 30 pound, how much does Sam receive? This is slightly different from my last video where they were sharing, you knew the total, they'll share it between them. This time you're told that a person has a specific amount of money, okay? So, how I like to do it, and how I show my students is this. I go, right, we've got Sam here and Paul. And they're showing money in the ratio two to three. Remember, the first name in the sentence refers to the first ratio number. So Sam and Paul, two refers to Sam, and three refers to Paul. Really important, that's a key bit that we have to look for in an exam. So Sam has two portions, and Paul has three. Yeah? Right, now we're told that Paul has 30 pound. So Paul's boxes that he has come to the value of £30. Sometimes in the exam, it can be dollars, euros, okay, just pounds for this example. But it can be varied. So, Paul's value is worth three boxes. If you think you're starting to get it now, pause the video, see if you can get it, okay? So, now you've got to think, three boxes worth £30. So, what's in each box? Okay, so then we should hopefully see, let me just do 30 divided by 3 which equals 10. So we know each box is worth 10. This is still bar modeling so instead of writing the bars as one long one I wrote it like this instead. There's lots of ways you can use it. It's just another way to use bar modeling. It's a great skill and really helps my students really understand it this way as well. So each box is worth 10. So then if each box is 10, Sam has two boxes they are also worth 10 and 10. So how much money does Sam receive? Well, 10 plus 10 is 20 pound. Yeah, and Paul receives 30 pound. An extension to this question, you could be asked, what is a total altogether? Yeah, sometimes you add it that way, so therefore you'll just add those two numbers. Right, if you haven't already done so, pause the video, have a go at this question. You may have already done that, but I'll leave it there, to pause it, have a go at that one. Right then, so if you didn't get this one, maybe you now can get this one. Similar method, just use this method. So, Laura and Tim. I haven't picked these names for any specific reasons, just random names that are always coming up in exams, okay? So, on the ratio, five to two. So, Laura's value is worth five. I'm just gonna write that here. Yeah, five for Laura and Tim is worth two. Now, Hopefully remember from the last one, I'm going to do it the same way as this one. Laura, so Laura's share is the first number in the ratio, okay? And Tim is the second number, because that's the order in the sentence. So Laura receives five boxes. One, two, three, four, and five. And Tim receives two. So... You are told Tim has eight sweets. So this time, Laura and Tim, instead of sharing money, they're sharing sweets in the ratio of five to two. Tim has eight sweets. How many does, Laura's, does Laura have? So Tim's two boxes is worth eight. His pen is going. This is not good. You're going to have to switch pens. That is just driving me mad. Right. So Tim's bo two boxes are worth eight. So then, if two is worth eight, we just do 8 divided by 2 as pens, much better, equals 4. So Tim's two boxes are worth 4 in each one, which is 8 altogether. So if one box is worth 4, then we know Laura has 5 of those boxes. So then, 5 lots of 4 equals 20. So Tim has 8 sweets, so Laura gets 20 sweets. So altogether, they've got 28. Right, so I've done two examples, three more to go. I'm now going to clean the board. Right, two fresh questions. Pause the video, have a go at these two questions. Okay, so you should pause the video and have a go. I'm trying to give you as much variety 
as possible. Hopefully now, with that little skill we did before with bar modeling on the other two questions, you now got a little bit of an idea on how to tackle, tackle these problems. So, Molly and Ryan share $10 in the ratio one to three. Ryan has $7.50. How much does Molly receive? So, same as before, yeah? Molly, Ryan. And this works for other racial problems I will do in videos to come as well. The same strategy. Share money in ratio one to three. So, Molly receives one box. Ryan receives three boxes. Ryan's portion is worth $7.50. Don't like that all the way over there. $7.50. So, three boxes is worth $7.50. And yes, you can have decimals in this. I like to make sure I always show machines so you can have decimals just so they see it, okay? And it could be generally be nice decimals like $7.50 divided by three, which you know is $2.50, okay? So each one of these is 2.5. So then Molly receives $2.50. Yeah, because she only gets one portion compared to Ryan's $7.50. And a way to check that, that is right, $2.50 plus $7.50 adds together to make $10.50 as well. That's how we could check to see if that's correct, and it should add up to that. If it didn't add up to 10, we've gone wrong and made a mistake. Right, hopefully you had a go this one. If you didn't, pause it, have a go now. Right, let's go through it. Slightly different word in this one, not referring to people sharing something but in a cake recipe you can buy butter and sugar in the ratio five to four you have 60 grams of butter how much sugar do you need remember like butter to sugar five to four so butter and sugar five to four five to four you don't necessarily need the numbers there but i just like to pull out just to help remind myself especially in an exam and you're stressed these little things can just help you stay in control, okay? Which is really important, stay focused on the task. So five and sugar is four. Right, and it's telling us that we have 60 grams of butter. So these five boxes make 60. So now all we have to do, I'll do it down here, okay? So 60 divided by five, which equals 12. So each one of these boxes is worth 12. So four boxes of 12 in each box is for sugar. So all we have to do then to get this value, just 12 multiplied by four, which equals 48 grams. There you go. So there's those two questions. Right, I'm gonna clean the board, then do the final question. Right then, the final question. So pause the video, have a go at this question. Right, so I'll read it out. To make a smoother, you need blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries in the ratio four to two to three. You have eight raspberries. How many blueberries and blackberries do you need? And yes, you can get a three number ratio, okay, where there's three different sections. You can get four, five, six different sections as well. You generally don't get more than three, yeah. That's usually the highest it goes, but you never know, you have to prepare for it, and the strategy is exactly the same. So, I wonder who got it. Right, blueberries, raspberries, and blackberries. So, blueberries. Still, you approach this the exact same way. Yeah, just keep it simple. Raspberries, raspberries, and blackberries. Yeah, use the boxes as well. Make it nice and easy as well. How you set it out in an exam will help you if you keep it nice and neat, because wordy questions like this can get extremely messy. And as I've seen students in the past where it's just everywhere. I'm trying to mark their work when we're doing mock exams and practice exam papers. It's really difficult, so the work just everywhere. So really try and keep it nice and neat and it will help you a lot, okay? Because that way, if you do make a mistake, it's easy to track, okay, and to find where you went, where you went wrong. So. Blueberries, raspberries, blackberries. That's the order it was written in, so that's the order the ratio is, okay? Blueberries, raspberries, blackberries, four, two to three. So, four boxes, one, two, three, 
four and then two boxes and then three boxes okay so we have eight raspberries so this section here is worth eight and that is two boxes so one box must be eight divided by two which equals four so that way we just put four in each box so that way we know four at four at four at four is 16 so we need 16 blueberries we've already got eight raspberries and we need four eight twelve twelve blueberries okay so that is it there's your five questions there's a little other types it can be but generally this is how this type of question is written right so my next video is going to be still on ratio so next week's one but it'll be when someone gets more than or less than so it's that next step up okay so this has been maths with jacko i'm brother jackson your math teacher don't forget to click subscribe so that way when they're released you get it on your dashboard straight away take care and i'll see you next time